Hey guys, it's Michelle, and this is episode 57 of Cozy Egg Floss Tube. And today is Tuesday, July 11th, I think. 10th. Maybe it's the 10th. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here recording with you, which means what? It means that I finished Mystery 9. So I uh, took a 3 a.m. photo of it this morning when I finished it and posted that on Instagram. Um, but I have now ironed it and taken better photos. <laughs> so um, I'm also going to do, I'm gonna add in um, kind of a close-up video of it so that you can see all the details and the sparklies and everything. But um, for now, let me figure out which way, which, is the top this is the top so here it is so that's it and I obviously have worked on this the past hundred and eleven days so I did the 100 day chatelaine challenge, which was to stitch on a chatelaine or any chatelaine or as many chatelaines for 100 days straight. And I just kind of thought to myself, you know, 100 days, even if it doesn't get me completely finished, would get me pretty darn close. So I'm super happy to have this done, like super happy. So, um, and like I said, I'm gonna insert a video that'll show you all of the close-ups and details and everything. Um, so I started that January 1st of 2006. And so that year, um, it was a Martina's big mystery. Um, she does one a year, um, did one a year. And, um, they are, you know, have historically been her big, you know, mandalas garden, her big gardens. Um, this was mystery nine. Um, so it was the ninth one that she did. And so in 2005, I joined, um, I signed up for Midi Mystery One, which was her very first smaller mystery. So it was a six month, which is why she called it Midi. Um, and I've shown you that one. Um, and I kept up with that all six months and finished it. Um, I started it, you know, June 1st. 2005 and finished it uh, December 2005 and um, then I had signed up for mystery nine that was due to start January 1st 2006 and I think I also started mermaid treasure box like around there too but <laughs> I'm just counting that one's still a whip uh, so anyway this was my first big year-long mystery and uh, you know Martina released it you know part by part one month at a time and I kept up pretty well with it for the first I'm gonna say three months and I think that's when I fell off and that is because Eric and I got married in April of 2006 we moved 
like both of us moved into this house um, March of 2006. So there was kind of a lot that was going on, <laughs> which is my excuse. Um, and then once I fell behind, obviously I never caught back up with it. Um, and I've worked on it here and there over the years. And, um, you know, here we are 12 years later and it's finally done. And I'm thrilled with it. I'm so thrilled with it. And, you know, I have, I'm so glad that I did the 100 day challenge and I'm so glad that I had so many of you, you know, along with me on that journey and cheering me on and um, telling me how much you looked forward to seeing the progress photos and all that's what kept me going. Um, because there were, there were a few little struggles in there. Um, I will admit I had a few points at which I kind of hit a wall, mostly I think I really hit a wall working on corner three. So that would be the bottom right corner. So I had completed top left corner one. And when I started the challenge, I was working on corner two, which is top right. And then um, corner three is where I got kind of stuck. But once I kind of figured out what my problem was and fixed that, I was good. And so what my problem was is that I was working on the bottom corner and I was noticing that my neck was really bothering me and I was just having a hard time, you know, working on it. And finally I realized it was because I was looking, having to look so far down to look, to work on the bottom corner. So I just flipped it around and worked on, worked on it upside down. And that worked great. Um, and that got me over that hump and, you know, moved along. I ran into an issue, I guess about a week ago, where I was beating the swirls The swirls on corner four and ran out of beads. Um, I was starting to get suspicious that I wasn't going to have enough and sure enough I didn't. So I was 55 beads short on the gold beads. Um, I did send a note to European Cross Stitch to let them know um, that I don't know if they're still offering kits for Mystery Nine or not, um, but in the event that they are or that somebody asks for it, I wanted to make sure that they knew that I had come up short on those gold um, Delica 411 beads so that they were aware of it. Luckily, um, you know, there I was at like one o'clock in the morning and I had been determined to get that last swirl beaded that night. And um, I decided to look and see if any of my other Chatelaine kits had those beads in it. And after striking out on several, I even looked at St. Petersburg because I figured that has a bazillion beads in it. Surely it has these gold beads, but it does not. Um, but after looking in several kits, I figured out Mermaid Treasure Box also has the 411s. So I stole the 411s out of my Mermaid Treasure Box. So in six months or a year, when I am trying to figure out what happened to those beads, please remind me of this conversation that we just had. So, um, I had plenty of every other bead, more than enough in many cases, like a lot more than enough. Um, even on the, on the bicones, I think I had five or six extra. 
So, you know, and it's possible that in 12 years, I somehow lost some gold beads. I mean, they were in a little bag, in a container, in a baggie, but whatever. So, um, and then last night when I was trying to get the last of the bugle beads on and the last of the bicones on, that last triangle, trying to get those bicones on was just giving me fits. And I think I ripped out like five times because my bugle beads weren't laying straight and then I got a knot in my thread and that wouldn't go through the bead and then the thread got wrapped around the bead and knotted and I had to cut it out. <laughs> so, but I was determined to get it done. So, now it's done. Um, so, started on January 1st, 2006, finished on July 10th, which must mean that today is the 11th, July 10th. 2018 and it is stitched on 32 count lavender mist by Zweigart which was the called for fabric and with all of the called for silks and metallics and a silk pearl and um, Delica's and Swarovski's so um, now what so my friend Karen suggested that, and one of the things that I mentioned um, to some friends of mine the other day is that I wasn't really tired of working on it, even after working on it for 111 days. I wasn't really tired of working on it, and I wasn't burnt out on it, and I wasn't at that stage of, ugh, I just want this to be done. Like, I was still, you know, enjoying it and still just plugging away at it. But I am really ready to work on something else. So, my friend Karen suggested that I pick up something small so that I could get, like, a quick finish under my belt since I'm so focused on finishing things. Um which I think is a great idea and not jump right into something else huge that is never going to be finished either. So, um, I'm not entirely sure what that might be, but I'll show you a couple of things that I think I'm going to work on. So, um, Dark 13 stitching is coming up on Friday. It is Friday the 13th, which makes it super special. And um, I really did not participate in Dark 13 stitching last month because I was working on Mystery 9. So I'm excited to be able to work on what you do. Dark 13 this month. So I am going to pull out this Jinx by Raise the Roof Designs. There's a little close up of it. And I started this on the fabric that um, Christine sent me. This is Love Child 32 Count by Under the Sea Fabrics. And that's what I have so far. And I love this. This is so much fun. It's just a fun stitch. And um, you know, I thought about getting my Halloween neighborhood out and working on that, but I'm still in the process of trying to figure out the next thing that I'm going to add to it. And I just can't, I don't, 
I don't have the brain power to work on that right now. So this is super simple and um, super quick to stitch. And it's just fun. So I am going to work on that. Plus, it'll be Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. So I think it's appropriate. So that is what I'm planning on working on on Friday. And in the meantime, I have a little thing that I need to work on for Guild. We've got a Guild project that we're doing and I have a little piece that I need to get going on that I kind of forgot about. So I will probably do that first and I should be able to finish that up um, in a night or so. And then this will be good to go for Friday. Um, the other things that I had, so I wanted to show you this. So my, um, my friend Carrie, uh, who uh, used to be a member of um, the Tudor Rose Guild, she now lives in Houston, um, sent me this beautiful project bag that she made. And she said that it reminded her, when she saw it, it reminded her of my La Luna so she just knew that I had to have it. And I absolutely adore it. It is so perfect. And um, she wanted me to have a special bag to put my, my next model stitch in, which I don't have that in here because um, I'm not quite to that point yet, but um, I will have a special bag when I do because La Luna actually lived in a Ziploc, if you can believe it. She also made this little notions pouch, AKA scissor jail. Um, and it's got this, uh, it's got the, uh, the clear vinyl front so you can see inside and you can see that beautiful fabric that she chose. Um, the dark blue that has um, little bunches of flowers and um, these gardener shears love it it's beautiful so thank you so much Carrie it's such a treat so I was trying to um, get a little bit organized the other day and I started kind of grabbing things to put in here and so what's in here so this is my piece that I was working on, maybe someplace. This is my little T for thread that I was working on a while back. And so I thought I might work on that. A little bit and get that finished that's just it's a fun little stitch and um, you may remember it's gonna be it's gonna go on the top of my thread box eventually <laughs> so um, and that is carriage house samplings uh, at the time that I got this it was a free chart um, but it was part of her big alphabet series. Or no, maybe it was Needle that was the free one. Yeah, Needle and Angel, which are those two. Um, thread, I don't think was a free one. Anyway, I don't remember. I've got all these working copies stuffed in here together. So. And that is 28 count Joblin uh, sugar cookie, old school silk weaver back in the day when I was on the fabric of the month.
forever and ever ago. So I thought, excuse me, I might work on that. And I was hoping that I also had my mermaid in here, but I don't see her. That's okay. Um, there is also the Summer of Salem Sal that is going on. Um, technically in two groups. In the, the Witch Stitches group and in the Stitcher's Coven. And I picked out a piece, but I haven't started yet. I haven't even kitted it up yet. I don't know that I'm gonna get to that. Just because I'm in a, I just wanna finish things mode, kind of, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. So, um, those are the couple of things that I may work on. I also have a little bit of secret stitching that I need to do and finish and get out of here. Um, the other thing that is going on is a lot of people are participating in the 100 day Haid challenge. And so you may recall from a long time ago when I did my whip parade that I do have a Haid started. I don't have much more than just have it started and I haven't worked on it in probably 10 years. Um, but I decided the other day that I would get it out and look at it and I might just here and there, you know, put some stitches in on it and I figure, you know, putting like a length of thread in or something isn't going to be a big investment and it will either tell me that yes I still like this I should keep going or no I'm never going to finish this and I can just chuck it and get rid of it and not have the energy tied up in it and I thought that I had brought the chart in here so I could show you the cover photo but I did not so here is what I have done, which, like I said, is not a whole lot. This, um, I will insert a picture here. Of what that is going to look like. It's a Sarah Butcher. Uh, she did a four, four different elements. Um, ACEOs. So this was like a basically like a mini, um, which I thought was a good place to start. And at the time that I started this, it was because um, Nikki, and I can't even think of the name of her blog now. But she always said to the most beautiful, beautiful things. And she was working on Earth from this series. And I was just absolutely in love with it. And so I bought all four of the, <laughs> bought all four of the, of the um, elements. And I started water. And this was actually my second start. My first start, I started on, I had ordered this gorgeous hand-dyed, silk weaver fabric called iris that was absolutely gorgeous and i thought i'm gonna stitch my hate on that and after putting in about a hundred stitches i realized you're not gonna see one bit of this fabric so i don't know what i'm why am i even bothering and it was hard to see my stitches on the fabric because my fabric basically looked like this so I started over on just a piece of white. And that's all I have done. So all of this right here, this black, which is actually black in 
navy and another color, brown maybe. But that's what I got done the other day. So we'll see. I'm not committing to 100 days. I am committing to, I'll pick it up every so often and see if I still like it. That's it. So, all right, I think that's all that I have to share with you. Um, I'm gonna attach the video of Mystery Nine close up so that you can see it. Um, and I super appreciate you guys subscribing and liking and commenting and I appreciated your comments on my last video which was my first stitch with me video um, which was a little bit of a hot mess but <laughs> it was worth a shot anyway um, and it was also my first time answering a tag so first all the way around um, so thanks guys I appreciate all of your support and um, cheering and um, subscribing and liking and commenting and all of that I really really appreciate it so enjoy and um, hopefully I will be back soon and show you what little things I've been working on all right thanks guys bye